Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. I thought my night was done, but lo and behold, it's not. After Ben Daniel and I jumped off of our podcast that we did together tonight, we were chatting up for a second, and I came across a clip on Twitter that gave me a completely different angle than the one we saw during the game that the broadcast gave us over and over and over and over again. The angle of DeJanae Carrington stabbing Caitlin Clark in the right eye. Understand something. I gave DeJanae Carrington the benefit of the doubt. I said on the podcast tonight live, there's no way that she could have intentionally jabbed her in the eye. And in a, in, a, in a sense, I said, well, it's DeJanae Carrington, and she does have a major dislike for Caitlin Clark or hatred for Caitlin Clark. And she has done dirty types of things to Caitlin Clark all season when they've played and said all kinds of dirty shit about Caitlin Clark. But there's no way you're jabbing someone in the eye. <clears throat> and then I saw this. Then I saw this. Now, I have played basketball. I played ball for a number of years when I was a teenager. I played on basketball teams. I coached basketball. I have watched thousands of NBA basketball games. I've watched probably a few hundred WNBA games in my lifetime. I've watched every single game that Caitlin Clark has played. I've watched hundreds and hundreds of women's college basketball games. I've watched high school basketball games. There is absolutely nothing that is natural about this motion of DeJanae Carrington. Every time you watch an NBA game now, you people talk about, well, he went up for a shot. Was that a natural shot? And you see guys get kicked in the junk. And they'll say, oh, there's no way that his leg would come up, even though he's fading away and your legs will come up <clears throat> because you're naturally fading away, so your legs are going to lift. It's just the way it goes. <clears throat> now, for guys like Draymond Green, it doesn't seem too natural because he seems to always go with his pickle punt kick to the to the nuts and it seems very unnatural which is why he gets in trouble for it because it's not natural with many of the things that he does this has to be the dirtiest thing i've ever seen in basketball i want you to watch this when people contest a pass a shot this was a pass you come up with your hand out your hand is out it's not like this. It's out. And at worst case scenario, if you come down, you will come down and you might hit the person across the face like this. You might hit him in the chin. But in no way would your hand do this into an eye socket. I take back everything I said, giving this woman the benefit of the doubt. She is a dirtbag. Dijanae Carrington is an absolute dirtbag. She should be suspended. She should have been ejected from this game in which this wasn't even called a foul. She should not see the court for the rest of this series at a bare minimum. This is an example of trying to take someone out and doing it in a way that could end her career. You're talking about an eye gouge to, I mean, this is an eye gouge. This isn't an inadvertent smackdown. This is, your hand went up, and then it completely turned angles. Like, look at this shit. This is nuts. Like, there's nothing 
natural about this. Her head turns down from like this to like this. Caitlin Clark would be in her right mind to go to the police and file charges, press charges for battery. Now, it would probably never happen, never pop off and never go anywhere. But remember, there have been hockey players who have gone, who've been arrested for shit they've done on the ice that was considered to be beyond the scope of play. And this is a league in which people fight. Have fist fights. This is a league in which people have fist fights. And fist fights never see anyone get arrested on, 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 on hockey ice. But there have been plays in which guys have been slashed on in the back of their legs. And I remember one specifically. Let me look him up real quick. Let me look this up real quick. So you had Marty McSorley, who took his stick from behind – I think it was Donald Brashear, took his stick and cracked him across the side of the head with his stick. And Brashear falls backward, hits the ice, and smashes his head on the ice. Basically got knocked out. That's not a hockey play. That's not even remotely hockey. That's a dirt bag. If you did that in the street, you're going to go to jail. And that's what happened to Marty McSorley. He got arrested. Okay, he got arrested for that. Now, there was another one that happened. So before I jump to the next one, Marty McSorley ended up uh, being found guilty and getting 18 months probation. Then there was another one with Todd Bertuzzi, who sucker punched Steve Moore from behind, which basically knocked him out. Moore goes face first into the ice and has multiple vertebrae break in his neck. Moore never played hockey again. Bertuzzi was charged with, uh, with criminal assault. He didn't spend any time in prison, but he did plea out. And the reality is these types of things are beyond the scope of sport. These are dirtbag plays. And this is a dirtbag play. And this just goes right into the type of character that Dijanae Carrington is. She has proven this to be her, who she is. I gave her the benefit of the doubt, and I feel foolish now. Because I only saw the other angle. I'm like, there's no possible way you're trying to jab someone in the eye. I love MMA. And I have not seen blatant jabs to the eye like this. I watched Stipe Miocic jab Daniel Cormier in the eye where he couldn't see for the duration of the fight. His eye was purple. Caitlin Clark has a black eye now, and all she did at the, at the press conference post game was not say anything that was anything crazy. She gave her the – she said, it didn't affect me. I, I just was off. I missed shots. And she, But she could have gone out there and really let Dijanae Karen to people know that crap was on purpose. She's trying to take me out. And the WNBA is proving what type of bogus, I don't know what the word you can find, um, type of word it is for this league, but this bogus type of league that allows this type of dirtbag behavior to go on. They have allowed Caitlin Clark to be a punching bag for so many different players. Take flagrant foul upon flagrant foul, where this wasn't even called a foul, despite happening right in front of the referee. you got to be kidding me. This is the type of shit that she's been dealing with all season. And the one time that I'm like, nah, I couldn't have been done on purpose. It's probably the most blatant of everything that she's experienced this season. A player going up to defend the pass and turn her fingers down to jab her right in the eye. At worst, you get hit here, you hit here, here. No, she turned her fingers and goes right into her eye socket. I do not want to hear that it was an accident. This crap was blatant. And on purpose, and if Ken Kathy Engelbert, the WNBA commissioner, does not suspend Dijanae Carrington for the remainder of this series, it's an embarrassment to the league. This type of crap cannot be allowed. This is the Boston Globe is talking about this now. There has to be an investigation. 
that takes place before this game on Wednesday. Because there's no way in hell that this can be allowed to go without punishment. Look, Caitlin Clark kept the receipt, and she whacked DJ Carrington outside her face. But she didn't go to poke her in the eye. And Caitlin Clark should have been hit with a flagrant foul. The same way, but this one is a flagrant two ejection. And the WNBA showed its face again as to how much it wants to prove to you that this league is bigger than Caitlin Clark, that this league can do well without Caitlin Clark. When the fact of the matter is, the only reason most people are watching these games and watching this league this year is because of Caitlin Clark. She is your freaking face of the league. 1.2 million average television viewers for Caitlin Clark games. The rest of the league, under 400,000. Do not tell me that she is not the difference in your sorry ass league. Last year, the league averaged 505,000 fans on average watching games. If you remove the Caitlin Clark games, their number went backward, not upward. I'm sorry, downward, not upward. So the remaining remaining games were 394,000, which is what I have read. What you're telling me is Caitlin Clark is why people give a shit about your league. And Kathy Engelbert needs to deal with this with an iron fist. Otherwise. This is just a carte blanche to continue to attack and try to maul Caitlin Clark with dirtbag plays like this. And the biggest issue that you're going to have now is that Caitlin Clark has a teammate who is banging this broad. Yeah, banging. Obviously, they are girlfriends. Melissa Smith, who magically never seems to play with any type of heart against her girlfriend, and they're going to be going home to Melissa to. DJ Carrington's apartment or house or wherever she lives, because I highly doubt Melissa Smith is sleeping in the team hotel. She's sleeping in bed with this girl, or this girl's coming to her room in her hotel room, one or the other, but you know they're not sleeping apart. And they're going to be chit chatting, yakking, giggling about how DJ Carrington eye gouged her teammate. And Melissa Smith is going to sit there and say nothing because she doesn't care about it because she can't stand playing on this team anyhow, as has been proven over and over and over again. This is a disgrace. This is an absolute shit show that we got going on here in the WNBA, and they purposefully did not show this angle. I don't know where this angle came from, but they did not show this angle on the broadcast. If they had shown this angle, do you understand the uproar that would have been going on on the internet during the game? I didn't see this thing until 11 o'clock at night. It's now 12.45 a.m. Monday morning. I didn't see it until 11 o'clock at night, almost 11 at night, about 10.45. 10.30, 10.45, something like that. This is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. There is nothing natural about this motion. Sorry, no, it, there's nothing natural about it. this. Was deliberate. This was on purpose, and she got away with it in the game. The question is now: Will she get away with it for the remainder of the series, or will she be suspended as she rightfully should? Because guess what? DJ Carrington matters to the Connecticut Sun. If DJ Carrington can't play, they're not going to win this series. Caitlin Clark had a horrendous shooting night tonight, today. Terrible shooting night, shooting shooting from from the field. The team played poorly across the board. The coaching, awful, as usual. But when you remove a defensive player like this from your lineup, who can give you 10 to 15 points a game on top of that, that's a big, big loss. And I know that they put Dewana Bonner on Caitlin Clark a lot today, but mm -mm. I don't think Dewana Bonner can get away with guarding Caitlin Clark and Caitlin Clark just missing wide open threes like she did today. 
because Caitlin Clark just missed a lot of open looks. Open, open, open looks. She said so in her press conference. But this is this is just this is dirtbag stuff, man. DJ Carrington you should be ashamed of yourself, but you're not because you don't care. You have no respect, and you're a dirtbag. That's what it is. You are a dirty player, and you are solidif- you've, you've solidified yourself as the absolute dirtiest player in the league. And I think Caitlin Clark should press charges. I don't think it'll go anywhere, but I think she should absolutely press charges because this is not a basketball play. This isn't remotely close to a basketball play. This could end your career. She's lucky that she doesn't have a torn retina, cornea, lens, whatever, that prevents her from seeing. Can you imagine if she had be if she's knocked out of the game from an eye gouge like this and has a torn something in her eye that requires surgery and she's unable to play the remainder of the series? First of all, Indiana would lose immediately. They'd have no chance in hell to win. But criminal that's criminal this is a criminal this is this is a criminal offense this is a criminal offense watch it over and over and over L- look at that you like you can't sit here and tell me there's anything going I, I, I just can't i'm flabbergasted that they didn't have this 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 uh vantage point replay during the game But, of course, it's convenient because this league is going out of its way to try to show you that you care about the league regardless of Caitlin Clark when the numbers tell you that's just not the case. They call it – I mean, they call that freaking ridiculous foul in the first 48 seconds on Aaliyah Boston, and they got to burn a freaking challenge in the first 48 seconds. This happened, I think, within two minutes of that. Man, Kathy Engelbert's about to show us whether or not she has the stones to be a commissioner or not, because there's no way in hell that DeJanae Carrington should be allowed on that court on Wednesday. In fact, I tell you, she should be suspended for at the bare minimum the remainder of this series. The remainder of the series. So if it ends on Wednesday, it's Wednesday. If it ends on Friday or whatever next game is, it's Friday. Win or lose. But this outrageous. Kathy Engelbert needs to lay a hammer down because I gave the, I gave her the, the benefit of the doubt. That's a flagrant two. That's beyond a flagrant two. Caitlin Clark later in the game she committed a flagrant one. They didn't call it probably because they were they saw replays of this and like yeah no we can't do that. They probably saw that crap at halftime because I think that foul that she committed that wasn't called was in, in the second half. But that's all I got. I'm disgusted. This is gross. I, I mean, this is like Santino Morella in WWE when he used to do the Cobra. Like, whoop, whoop, whoop. I, I mean, it, this is this is ridiculous. I want you to keep watching this because there's nothing about this that's natural. And she didn't hold back on it, man. She went bah right in her eye. She didn't. There was no like, oh shit moment. She didn't care. She couldn't care less because that's who DJ Carrington is, a dirtbag. That's all I got. Leave your thoughts and comments. Sad. This is what the WNBA is. This sport is a joke. This league is a joke. They don't care about growth. They want to prove to you that one player can't make their league. And right now, that player is making their league. And if they are eliminated, you're going to see what the, the viewership goes down to the remainder of the playoffs for the WNBA. I might watch a game here and there, but I'm not going to have it on my calendar or care. I'll get back to baseball because the playoffs for baseball are starting. Football's going on. I got a lot of other things to do. I don't have interest in this type of garbage. This happened to LeBron James, Michael Jordan. First of all, there'd be a fist fight on the court. There'll be a fist fight on the court. You couldn't get away with this. And then the player who did it would be suspended. 
This is not a play. This isn't even a this isn't even a dirty foul. This is a criminal act. And you can debate me on that all day long. This is a criminal act. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Love y'all. See y'all soon. Come on now.